the 37th annual Egyptian festival took place last weekend at St. Mary's Coptic Church. Let's take a look. St. Mary's has its church festival annually around this time. It's a time to let other members of the community know about our culture, about our church. We invite people in to come and see who we are, about our beliefs. We also give the community a chance to be exposed to our uh, food, our culture, our kind of way of being together. It's a very, very tight-knit community. Large as it is, it's grown over the years, but it's a very tight-knit community. So we invite East Brunswick and the surrounding townships to get to know more about us. And I mean, can you maybe talk about some of the, uh, the delicious food and desserts that we have here? Yeah, we uh, actually this year we introduced something new. It's called sugar cane juice. It's something that grows up in hot countries. So people, uh, we have a big demand on it and um, it's actually give you energy and it's delicious. Uh, we have the youth also introduced this year a freshly squeezed lemon juice, fresh uh, squeezed orange juice. Uh, we have shawarma, which is a layer of lamb with the spices and it uh, on the rotisserie. It's delicious shawarma. We also have uh, fresh homemade falafel. Everything is made from scratch. We also have uh, crib. Uh, the crib is uh, comes in with uh, sweet or or uh, savory. And um, we have uh, the delicious uh, baklava, um, the sweets of the Middle East. We have shish kebab, we have kofta, we have chicken kebab, and um, the macaroni bechamel, uh, beef strudel, cheese strudel. People come here to enjoy the delicious food. And boy, oh boy, we sold everything that we had for today yesterday. <laughs> And as, as you could see, the atmosphere, people are enjoying the beautiful weather and um, as well as the team effort that everybody puts together. There's a, uh, it's a more uh, just than food, it's a spiritual as well that we gain a lot of uh, uh, tie together as a group and as a community with our neighbors and our officials from the town. They come in, the township, each individual of them, they uh, help us out a lot. I wanted to thank you individually and on behalf of the church, congregant, uh, priest, and, and the committees. A lot, a lot of the ladies come three to four weeks prior. They start preparing. They start layering the phyllo with the fillings. They start rolling the grape leaves. They start um, making the, the meatballs that are going to be served and uh, and fried, and it's a really a lot of the church women come weeks in advance, spend a day here a Saturday, rolling, stuffing, shaping, you know, layering, and that sort of a thing. And that's how this weekend happens. Really, it's the support of the whole community. And then, obviously, you know, you draw more uh, than just your congregation comes out here. How important and how receptive has the uh, the larger East Brunswick community been? Over the years, their numbers have increased, and uh, as we provide more variety. Uh, explain to people more about our church through tours in the church church this year we've had outside booths outside seating and so forth so it really does draw and also the festival committee has done a lot in terms of advertising around the township so people have started to look forward to it we have a lot of regulars that are you know not church members that come every year for the food certain desserts and so forth so it's been a great you know a great success thank God I just wanted to thank everybody and I tell them uh, always try to come out and have fun with us we uh, enjoy your uh, um, joining us as as a family we love you and we thank you and then this is the 37th uh, i'm hoping we'll have the 38th and, and even going on beyond that uh, any any plans to make it you know even bigger and better for for the future absolutely we wanted to make it as big as possible um, next year as you could see, the youth are involved, and um, I would love to see the whole parking lot full of vendors for the years to come, and more of um, new ideas and um, new uh, kids' rides, and so we could do more and more. And then, if people uh, just want to learn more about the church and about the, uh, you know, some of, of what you guys offer here, where can they find more out or, or get in touch with you guys? The website is the best place to go. Saint spelled out hyphen Mary dot net. So saint-mary.net, it has uh, a list of all of the church services and their times, the different committees in the church. We serve children, we serve immigrants, we serve the elderly, uh, we serve people who are trying to get uh, specialized degrees and education so that they can pursue better careers. So there's a lot of services that go on in the church to help the community, but definitely a good place to know more about what the Coptic Church is, saintmary.net. Hi, my name is Marina Samuel, and my favorite part about... The festival is the food and 
We attract more people to our church. Hi, my name is Pavli Tadros. My favorite part about this festival is coming closer with each other and knowing about our culture and understanding more about where we came from. Hi, I'm Anthony Yanni. Um, my favorite part about the festival is we all get to join together in unity in Christ so that um, we all meet each other. Hello, my name is George Yusuf and I, my favorite part about the festival is selling food. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Julian Samuel. And my favorite part of the festival is all the food and because their food is like amazing. And to conclude, this is where we all come together to have fun. The food's awesome and we all have fun. Be sure to come next year. Goodbye.